Hello, this is Ji Hyun Kim. We are going to learn about Mingnama test. Uh, before uh, learning, we should know the expression of Mingnama test. Usually, many uh, statisticians or uh, researchers express a 2x2 two two table like this. Uh, 2 by 2 and total number n a b c d but I uh, I like uh, this kind of table more uh, group 1 and group 2 uh, plus 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 minus minus plus minus minus a b c d and total number n now, actually it is identical but the type of expression is a little, bit, uh, a little bit deeper but I like it this better and uh, this is uh, the formula for uh, this difference and standard error and the 95% uh, confidence interval it is from a, B, C, D. Actually, it is not. It it it, it uh, doesn't have uh, doesn't have anything uh, with A in A and D. Is uh, this formula has only B and C? Anyway, now. And uh, this is a uh, minimal test uh, calculation for uh, this difference and is 95% uh, of a company interval. You only to fill the yellow box and, uh, and keep in mind always B is uh, larger than C. And and this I as I know as I mentioned earlier this is identical two by two table and the fall and and the formula can calculate this results this difference and is ninety five percent this confidence interval it is very easy. And another thing I want to say is odds ratio. <coughs> yes, same. You uh, you only to fill the yellow box. And you can get the odds ratio three, and it's. 95% confidence interval, but in odds ratio, uh, there are two kind of odds ratio in Mingnama test: continued corrected or not corrected. Uh, some statisticians uh, recommend continued correction rather than not corrected original Mingnama test, but some uh, some are not some don't recommend anyway uh, the cell the number of cells it is a small number uh, you better uh, choose continue correctly anyway you can get the results from the uh, data uh, three and uh, two numbers it is a uh, constant interval a little bit different and this is another formula for the uh, for uh, to calculate the original data from odds ratio and is 95% complete interval because uh, in some uh, journal some paper told us only Odds ratio and confidence interval. So I want to 
I want to know the original number new and confidence interval and yellow box to odds ratio and confidence interval you only the upper and lower uh, upper uh, interval because we can calculate the lower uh, uh, as a course and uh, we need three numbers total number and uh, this number and this number it is sum of a b and a b also and you can get the number of uh, number of uh, original data uh, actually it is very easy and sometimes you don't need to uh, calculate original data but in special case you want to know original data uh, this phone number okay uh, this sheet is uh, calculate original data from risk difference and is 90 per percent complete interval okay this is you know already and this is okay risk difference and confidence interval you can yeah in this sheet the same way you only to fill the uh, this uh, yellow box, uh, complete interval and total number and the sum of one uh, low and sum of uh, column and you can get uh, this number but uh, in some case it is not uh, actually it is uh, it cannot be uh, 80 or 81 so I can field the 80 or 81 and you can get the result and you can consult it to the odds ratio and given so we can see what is the original data uh, okay yeah oh seeing this uh, 81 is the uh, best answer because if uh, this cell is 80 it is different from uh, 0 0.213 okay so we, we can uh, finally conclude that this uh, this data is uh, the answer okay yes actually uh, Not always you need to calculate original data, but in some paper uh, they did not uh, show us the original data. But uh, you want to calculate, uh, or we want to know uh, your uh, experiment before uh, previous before start you want to know original data as a reference or parallel study okay 
this is tutorial in Korean and this is one graph for Mingnama test actually there is no graph for Mingnama test but I want to introduce this graph it is very easy you can feel you only to need you only need to fill the yellow box and you can get the uh, final graph and this is a uh, positive to a positive positive bar and this is 23 this is 13 you can see the directly O's ratio in graph and risk relative risk this and uh, this to this is relative uh, risk okay so in this uh, this is total so uh, you can see uh, the results uh, systemically and uh, you can uh, see the odds ratio and risk ratio at the same time in this graph so I recommend you use this uh, graph thank you